I'm right here in Gothenburg in the dead center of town and I was actually told by a few of the locals don't expect any snow in November it doesn't usually snow I'm like a little kid here today like I haven't seen snow since I was 16 but I've always wanted to try some fresh snow let's give it a go Mm. Tastes like a vanilla snow cone. In Sweden, it's actually illegal. The government will not let you advertise alcohol. Now you might be wondering, why do we see recorder league banners? Why do we see Ginger Joe signs over there? I'll tell you why. Because the sneaky Swedes put a little alcohol free symbol down the bottom because they just advertise the non-alcoholic version and they get away with it very very sneaky I like it but <laughs> it's basically a cashless society after coming from places like Egypt Albania where cash is everything here credit card is everything in fact a lot of places don't even accept cash I haven't even seen an ATM anywhere it's uh, yeah, it's really different. That's one thing that I've noticed. I just had to pay a dollar to use the toilet. Here, in this shopping center, I did not even know that was a thing in Sweden. Weird. Then their system belog it. Sweden's government run alcohol superstore. Yes, you heard me right, government run. In fact, other stores can only sell light alcohol while other standard strength and hard liquor is controlled by the government's alcohol monopoly, limiting the times when you can purchase, such as only up to 3 p.m. on a Saturday. Initially, I was gonna rip on it, saying it's a big communist or socialist move. However, when I visited, I was pleasantly surprised. The staff was super friendly, and they seemed to have a huge selection. In fact, being the only supplier of alcohol in the country, they were even order in any alcohol from anywhere in the world. They even had some questionable beer brands, such as Retard Beer, which yes, is 100% legitimate. I had this the other night. This is honestly like the best beer I've ever tried. So we're gonna stock up on that. Hey. Put them up. Put them up? Yeah. Do you have a box for me? Over there, oh, yeah, thank you. What do you think of this beer? Hey, it's like uh, pretty average. It's my average is my absolute favourite. Your favourite? I got it the other night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So as you saw, I had to get these drinks straight off the shelf. They didn't have any fridges. And that is part of the government's tactics here to curve excess drinking. But I have outsmarted them on this occasion. Little do they know, it's snowing outside. And all you have to do is put it in the snow and come back in two minutes. There you go. Better than being in the fridge. Perfectly cold. We've outsmarted the government once again. Right here, we're in the harbour of Gothenburg. And if you look straight across, this is the tallest building in Gothenburg. Apparently a lot of the locals are protesting and they're against all these high-rise buildings. And I can understand that, but I don't think they're gonna be able to do anything about this or further ones that are gonna continue to be built along here. I have heard as well, there is a free ship that you can jump on, which goes across to the other side. So, I'm gonna try to find that. Okay, so it is departing, which means I just left it. Um, yeah, I think that might be the one. So, we're just gonna have to wait for the next one.
So I've got the ferry over to the other side and there is not much happening over here. It literally just looks like office buildings. Nothing is happening and it's just such a quiet town. Gothenburg, like there's just no one about. I know everyone's at work, but it's just quiet. You don't hear anything. Very bizarre. But we are at that huge building. Have a look at it. So I just did a quick count. It looks to be about 70 stories tall. And I found some forest land over there. So we're gonna see if we can get over there and get up to the top of that mountain. It's actually ridiculously cold right now. Like sub-zero temperatures. Like once that wind starts hitting, it is ridiculous. can't work out how to get over there. There just seems to be like this big gate the whole way. If I was homeless in Gothenburg, this is probably where I would chill. It's not actually not that cold, but this is one of the amazing things here. If this was in Australia, this whole thing would be completely graffitied. There'd probably be a lot of rubbish and shit around. Um, the Swedes, they're pretty respectful. There's a little bit of graffiti, but it is such a clean town. Like, there's minimal graffiti, minimal, minimal rubbish. So, we are gonna try to get up to the top of this mountain here. I have no idea what it is, but I wanna do it. It looks like we've hit some, like, real Swedish kind of village here. Old school houses. Maybe I can cut through and uh, get up here. Alright, I think this is our private property. Wrong way. Let's go back. Keeler's Park. I think if we keep heading up this way, we can get to that very peak of that mountain we saw. It's probably like a way simpler way, but for some reason I've had to go off the beaten track here because I can't find the path. Oh, there it is. The top of Gothenburg Mountain. Here we are. Gothenburg Forest behind me and Gothenburg City right here on the top of the mountain. seen any wildlife yet nothing I was expecting to see some bears some like polar bears obviously because of the snow so have a look at this pond it is actually frozen over completely frozen with a layer of thin ice there that is incredible 